Welcome to Local Matters, the official Laverne podcast. I'm Ann Smith, Public Information Officer for the City of Laverne. Today I have with me once again Parks and Rec Director David McGowan. Thanks for joining me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me. So we have some changes coming to the Senior Center that I wanted to talk about. The city is partnering with 50 Forward, and the organization will be taking over all the operations, right? That is correct. Yes, ma'am. That should go into effect on May the 1st. What does that mean for our seniors? How is this going to impact them? I don't, as far as daily operations, I think it's only going to benefit them more. I don't really see a whole lot of stuff changing other than um, they will have more resources available. Um, 50 Forward is a nonprofit organization that they currently manage seven um, senior centers throughout Davidson County, one in College Grove. So they have that network of resources available that we do not have and I think it's just going to benefit everybody that comes down there um, on the whole. So tell me about memberships. Is the senior center memberships going to still be free for our? It will be. That was one of the main things going into this. You know um, last September we had some staff changes so the park and rec department has been trying to keep the doors open with filtering our staff down there with volunteers throughout the city other departments um, volunteers in the community so we were looking at ways to um, move forward in a more positive manner that would provide more resources to everyone involved. Um, throughout the years, it's been talked about how we were going to manage the senior center. We did post the jobs there for a while. The candidates we got um, didn't really have a whole lot of background in senior center management. So we knew 50 Ford was out there. We put out an RFQ, 50 Ford applied for that, um, got board approved. So we're going to move forward with them. Um, I think it's only going to be a positive for everyone involved. I don't think, I don't see a whole lot of stuff changing there. So um, 50 Forward, when they came forward as the front runner, I think it was an opportunity for the city to say, if we're going to continue offering this service to our community, let's do it in a more professional, managed manner that is going to benefit everybody involved. So is, is memberships going to continue to be free? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how I got <laughs> off on that. Yes, it is. That was one of the main things going into this, um, that we did not want our membership to be charged a fee. Um, historically, they do charge a fee. Um, the city has incorporated that into the um, management fee requested from 50 Forward. So at this time and in the future, I don't see a fee being charged to our staff or our members. And I, I think I heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, but even though our members can participate with 50 Forward for free, they can still do other events and programs at other centers. That is correct. Their membership. Yes, ma'am. That is the way our contract with 50 Forward is set up. If they are a current member of a Laverne Senior Center, um, they have the ability to go to any senior center that is managed by 50 Forward. Um, I have a list of those. It's seven centers located in Brentwood, College Grove, Bellevue, Bordeaux, Donaldson, Madison, and Wedgwood, and Laverne will be thrown into that mix on May the 1st. So I think it's important to take a moment to not only thank yourself, but your whole team, really, who's been keeping the, the weekly operations of the center going. I know you kind of touched on that a few minutes ago, but um, I, it's a lot of work, and your your staff has been pulling double duty on top of the help that they've been receiving from volunteers. Oh, it's a... Uh... Yeah, I can't say enough for for them. Everybody has jumped in when they could. This has been a long process for everybody involved, um, including city administration, the city's attorneys, 50 forward, um, GNRC, because we still have to remain in compliance with them. So there's a whole bunch of moving parts behind the scenes that people are not aware of. Um, so to get this done and to keep the doors open as long as we have has been a total team effort. Is there anything else that you'd like to comment on as in regard to the senior center moving into 50 forwards hands? Um, I think anytime you go into a change, there's always some apprehension. And I think the membership down there is kind of appreh apprehensive about what is to come. Um, I can assure you that if the city did not think this was the best and most positive move forward, that they would have never undertaken this stance. Um, College Grove 
Senior Center is probably more comparable in size to ours, and they offer 87 to 88 different unduplicated events throughout the year. So what that means is it if you, say, have an event, we Bowling or um, Bingo, that's two events. So unduplicated means they're going to offer you 85 or 86 more on top of those. So I think it's a win-win for everybody involved. Um, the city being willing to um, absorb the membership fee and have it professionally managed with resources that we just don't have available to us, um, whether that be senior housing, um, elderly insurance, elderly care, um, these resources are going to be readily available. If, that, if somebody calls us, we can work all day trying to find an answer for them and at the end of the day still not relay good information. Um, with 50 Forward coming, coming in and then having that complete network, they're going to give them more viable choices than we ever could. Well, David, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. We've been talking with Parks and Rec Director David McGowan. For more information on the Laverne Senior Center and 50 Forward, visit LavernTN.gov or follow them on their Facebook page. Until next time, I'm Ann Smith. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.